What is up guys, Delboy here. Let's talk about the fight between Andre de Rell and Jose Uzcategui. This fight was for the interim IBF super middleweight title. Essentially, it was an, el it was an eliminator to fight James DeGale. And Andre de Rell wins this fight by disqualification. For the record, de Rell had something similar happen earlier on in his career against Arthur Abraham. I was in the school of thought on that occasion that the disqualification was justified. Abraham clearly acted after the bell intentionally. He was frustrated. He was clearly losing. And that disqualification was, was justified. I, I feel the opposite in this case. I think I think it was, it was Katagai has been treated poorly and, and unfairly. And we'll, we'll talk about that a bit later. But actually this card... In my weekend preview, I said that Barthelemy versus Relique could be a sleeper fight, and it was a good fight. And I said that it was Cat Guy versus Darrell could be an upset contender. And I, I got the first one right, and I nearly got the second one right. So, um, so yeah. But let's talk about the fight. I felt in the first four rounds, I felt uh, Jose as Cat Guy looked really decent. I, I had him winning three of, uh, three of the first four rounds. He came out trying to apply steady pressure. As Katagai is a a puncher, but he's not a brawler. He likes to keep his uh, keep his uh, shots straight, and he does try to be a little bit patient. He's not sort of gung ho. And in the first four rounds, he was applying some good pressure. In round two, he hurt Andre Durrell against the ropes, and in the first four rounds, I had um, as Katagai winning by three rounds to one. After the fourth, uh, sorry, after the fourth round, Andre Durrell starts to regain composure. Starts to um, pop that jab. He starts to establish the distance. And he's looking good. He's he's picking up rounds. From round basically 5 to this, the knockout. I had Darrell winning all of those rounds. He was boxing quite well on the back foot. It was still competitive. But I felt Darrell had a foothold in the fight. And he was, um, he was winning on my card. And at the end. I think it was the ninth round. At the end of the ninth round. Darrell is sort of put into the corner kind of thing. Um, and as Katagai throws a combination that started before the bell, he, he lands his, uh, I think it was a three punch combination that finished off with a left hook. And the left hook wasn't a second after the bell, it was literally a millisecond after the bell. It was not intentional mm. at all. And, how, and if anybody's saying that as intentional, you're an idiot. It clearly wasn't intentional because it was mid combination and he started the combination before the bell fucking even even went. So clearly it clearly wasn't intentional. And I've I've got no doubt that Darrell was hurt. But he wasn't hurt as badly as he made out, I'm sorry. He just he just wasn't. He was acting and he got his man disqualified. And he won in the cheapest way possible. It's as simple as that. He he was an opportunist. His corner was telling him to stay down. Um, despite when the referee first asked him if he's okay, Darrell clearly nods. And uh, and when the doctors mentioned Darrell, who who got up to his knees, as soon as the doctors mentioned, he goes back down to his stomach, and starts to fake that he's hurt. Despite him no um, nodding when when the referee asked if he's okay. And the first thing the referee did, he didn't consult the people at ringside. Straight away, he said, I'm disqualifying him. Without even looking at it, without even acting in any decent judgment. It was clearly... The referee was a, was a joke of the way he handled that. And this was an IBF-officiated fight. And ironically enough, earlier on in the card, Barthelemy fought in a fight where the scorecards were, were, were fucking ridiculous in Barthelemy's favour... But Barthelemy had something like this happen to him in his career. It was an IBF fight as well. He was fighting Argenis Mendez for the IBF super featherweight title. And in the first fight against Mendez, he knocked out Mendez after the bell. And it wasn't for purpose. Again, it wasn't, it wasn't deliberate. But Mendez, sorry, Barthelemy, Barthelemy knocking out Mendez was clearly worse than this. And his fight was um, changed to a no decision. He wasn't disqualified. Originally he was, he was ruled the winner by knockout. I believe. 
and then I think it was changed to a no decision and or no contest whatever and they were, they were so quick to disqualify it was Kategai, despite it clearly being a, it wasn't intentional he clearly uh, started the combination before the bell went and the final punch was literally a split second after the bell plus the fact we have Andre Durrell giving Leonardo DiCaprio a run for his money I think Leonardo is going to be out of a job you know get Andre in, in Hollywood and uh, he'll do a great job and and the way his corner and the way his team acted was was a fucking disgrace. You know, listen, there needs to be a rematch. You can't win a title that way. Fair, if he got genuinely fouled intentionally, then he should win by disqualification. But that wasn't the case. Clearly wasn't intentional. And if anybody was being, you know, if anybody was tr- was trying to bend the rules or trying to get the easy way out, it was Durrell. Plain and simple. And and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he wasn't hurt. I'm not even I'm not even saying that it shouldn't have been stopped. What I'm saying is he's an opportunist. He made it look worse than it was. The referee was a joke. His team were a joke and that's all there is to it. As Katagai was was extremely hard done by. And I felt the night of the, the, the officiating in the bout before was also bad. Well, the judging was anyway. In the fight between Relic and Barthelemy, it was a razor close fight. Could have gone either way. Both men get dropped. But look at some of the scorecards in that fight. Absolute joke. That's the second time that's happened to uh, Kirill Relic now. Most people thought he beat Ricky Burns. A lot of people felt he beat Barthelemy. And he's been fucked on the score uh, on the scorecards. I've got no problem with Barthelemy winning that fight. In fact, I probably I probably felt he edged it. But those scorecards were a joke. But yeah, it, it is what it is. It was actually a really interesting card, though. I, I enjoyed that card a lot more than the Terence Crawford card. The um, Relic fight was really good, apart from the scorecards. The Andre Durrell fight, apart from the ending, was really interesting. A really, really interesting fight. And the Gary Russell Jr. fight was a, a great performance from Gary Russell Jr., I'm a big fan of Gary Russell, love his hand speed. He looked really good on the inside, landed some lovely uppercuts on on the inside. Short, sharp, crisp counter punches when they was exchanging. And I felt Gary Russell looked really, really good against a tough guy in Oscar Escondon. So, it was actually a really good card with some incident. And yeah, tell me what you guys thought of the um, Andre Durrell situation. From what I can gather online, from what I've read... And from what I've li- and from the people I've listened to, most people think Durrell made a meal of it. Most people felt that as Katagai, while it was just about after the bell, he got hard done by because it wasn't deliberate. It was an accidental foul. You know, when when there's an accidental head clash in, let's say, the eighth round, and it causes too much damage for the fighters to continue, it goes to a technical decision. It's still a foul, just like. Just like um, as Katagai, what he did was a foul, but it was unintentional. Just like an unintentional headbutt. This fight should have either went to a technical decision, or it should have been ruled a no contest. Shouldn't have been a, disqual- a disqualification, as far as I'm concerned. And the referee, to me, he just he 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 responded like a like a woman. He was so pent up. He was he just seemed angry, and he he seemed to make. A judgment based on his emotions instead of really sort of analysing it and seeing it for what it was, which was a mistake, and that's all there was to it. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. I thought I thought it was handled quite poorly. What do you guys think? Peace. <laughs>